Hi, this is Maria. I'm going to show you how I've added in my own trackers into the 2019 DigiBujo by Jenny Gullen Designs. I'm using the teal, so if you go to the main page, it looks like this. And I'm going to click Habit Trackers. It takes you to the Habit Tracker Index. You get 16 clickable links, so if you click on a blank one, you can add in your own. If you click on the trackers index, you get back to the index here or back to here. You've got lots of links within these journals. They're fabulous. Uh, check out my other ones where I've I had to set up the 2019 in general. But anyways, habit trackers. If I go to a blank one and you happen to have one that you love, you've already purchased it and you just have to have it, just add it in. Find it wherever you have it stored. I keep all of my planner stuff in in the um, my photos in an album. Just simply add it in the same way you would any other sticker. Okay. Add it in. Tap and edit. Resize. Make it however it is that you want it. And now you have a custom tracker inside of your journal. I'm going to go back to my index and I'm going to label this using GoodNotes text and I'm just going to call it birthdays. Okay. But you will notice that GoodNotes um, is very limited in what text you can use. You can resize here. It's changing the size. You can make it bold, you can make it italic, you can center. Um, and you can change basics, but you can't um, you can't use purchased fonts, and that's a big thing that people don't like. So these are purchased fonts, and how I did that was with the app called Graphic. So my period tracker, I wrote in the months, and I changed a little bit here across the top to make this tracker work for me. So let's get right into that. I'm going to, this is good notes, I'm going to click the three dots and clear the page so we can start from scratch. This is the basic tracker that comes with the 2019. You can copy this page and use it over and over, um, or you can modify it like I did into another app. So I'm going to click the same three dots, export, export current page, format is image, image again, and export to the camera roll. Now you can just snapshot this and do the same thing, but then you'll have to crop out all the stuff across the top from GoodNotes. So I just do it this way. I'm going to go into Graphic. I'm going to, you can add and add and import your image that way, or you can simply import from your photos, grab that last image, and it puts your image the way that I saved it right into its own layer. So this is my image and it automatically opened a new layer for me. So now I'm going to erase some of the wording here, but I'm not going to actually erase them. Um, if you, I would have to erase in the, this layer, and I'm going to show you what erase does, so that's not what I'm going to do. Whoops. If I click my eraser and erase the wording, it doesn't actually erase. It takes me back all the way to the grid that's behind the image. So that's not what I want to do. I'm going to click the back arrow. I'm going to go into that new layer and I'm going to click the paintbrush instead and close that out. Paintbrush, I'm going to go to a white and pick a pretty big width of the brush and I'm just simply going to color over it. Okay, I'm just going to color over what I don't want in this tracker. And it's just showing, whoops, if you go over the lines, just back arrow, takes you right back to where you were. That's just, the scribbles just show you the points where you've just, um, where you've just drawn, because I'm actually drawing white lines here. Okay, I'm going to click the arrow tool so that I can move to the next spot 
back to my paintbrush. I can make this actually bigger over here and just white it out. So I'm using it as white out. Okay. Now I'm going to put a 2019 at the top corner. I'm going to use my text option. I'm going to put it roughly where I want it. Double tap to edit. Uh, but you can see that all my purchased fonts are in here. Got lots and lots of options. So I'm going to click Hippie Chick. I'm going to go back. This is a Jenny font. I'm going to select a teal. Now, I picked a dark teal, but you can use the dropper to put the crosshairs and find, let me do that again, find the color you want and you can match it, okay? And then you can drop it in to your palette. Now you would do, and of course if you don't want it, you can just remove it. That way you can color match the stuff in your journal, in your own journal. Maybe you don't have a teal one, you have something else. Um, I decided I wanted a darker version of the same, and so I found it and then just saved that into my palette. So since I already have what I want, I'm just going to click and I'm going to type away, because I've done this before, I'm just redoing it for you. I'm going to align to the right side of the box. And that text is too big, so I'm going to select it all and make it smaller. Okay, and then I can make that box smaller and drop it into place. Okay, I'm going to make another text box. Double tap change my font to red and you can pick colors this way you can pick colors this way you can type in a hex code or you can type in the individual values I've already picked my red so select a color double tap okay if you're I'm okay with the size of that I'm just going to align it to the left of that box and just place it where you want it. Okay, perfect. I'm going to get another box, put that one here, double tap, month, double tap, I want it centered. And I want it red. And I want it centered within this field. It's a little too big, so I'm going to double tap. Make it a little smaller. And make it fit, fit the field a little bit better. Okay, and now I'm going to Double tap. I'm going to use that same dark teal and change my font to something prettier, Cindy Light, and just type, type, start typing so that I can gauge how big I want that to be. I'm going to double tap, make it bigger. and then simply put it where I want it. Let's make that one align to the left. So the hardest part is finding the sizing you want. Let's make the next one because the second time it's gonna remember my font and my size. It's not remembering my color but the rest will remember. Okay. And make the next one. Align it to the edge. March. Double 
small tap. Okay, next. And I'm just going to do that with every month. it looks like I am done so now I'm going to make sure I'm in my arrow tool I'm going to select I'm going to click my paper clip and copy back in the good notes long press and paste and it will be pretty close in sizing and there we go and if I decide I don't like that, I can always clear the page and we go back to my original tracker or bring it back. Okay, and since it's in graphic, I can always bring it back in later. That's how I've done that. Thank you for watching.